Angels. Good morning, Angels. It's Jack Around on 94.2's OMG program, where you every Wednesday morning so net for you can listen to how we can make life so much easier. Today, we have a young student. She is 21 years old and she has an unbelievable personality. Good morning, Angels, this morning, and it's uh, all happening right near our studios here in uh, the Jacaranda City. It's in a place where you'll find lots and lots of students. It's in the Hatfield area. That is where Nicole and the crew <coughs> is this morning. And uh, we're going to meet a very, very inspirational store, uh, young lady today. You know, when we, we receive emails, we get so, so many emails, mm. and um, all of them, with, you know, stories that really you want to help everybody. But when I read this, I couldn't help but just feel wow. It's a young lady, she's 21 years old. She's originally for, from Durban. Her name is Michaela fischer Buata. She's here to study sound engineering local at a college in Pretoria. And um, she's not your average run-of-the-mill kind of student. Michaela's in a wheelchair. Um, she was born with spina bifida and uh, because of this... Um, her leg muscles didn't develop, so she's in a wheelchair. And what she does, Darren, is she wheels herself to class and back every day in her wheelchair. It's two kilometers there and wow. two kilometers back. Gee. Then uh, because of this condition, she also needs to get dialysis once a week for her kidneys. Mm. Nicole, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to walk in now. She has no idea that we're coming. We're at the commune. She's staying in, in Hatfield. Like lots so, of students do, mm. communes. Hi, <laughs> I'm Nicole from Jacaranda 94.2. <laughs> Good morning, Angel. Hello. She's so surprised. <laughs> Michaela Chetto, say hi to Diane and Darren. Hello. <laughs> morning, Michaela. Hello. Hello, Michaela. <laughs> Did we wake you up? No. She's drinking coffee here in the kitchen um, and uh, we're here now with her. Michaela, we understand that um, you wheel yourself to varsity and back every single day yes. and once a week to hospital. Um, tell I us get a little taxi. bit about... I get a taxi to hospital. You get a taxi to hospital, thank goodness. Okay, yes. so tell us a bit about that experience. It's quite tiring and... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, according to the lady who sent us this request, and you might know her, I think you know her son a little bit better, Michaela. Um, her name's Elsa Dane, and her son, um, Adrian, lives with you in the commune. Is that right? Yes. And she wrote us this email, and she said that you are just so fantastic and wonderful, but uh, that she thinks it's, it's not a good idea for you to wheel yourself like that everywhere you need to be in your wheelchair. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, and that's why we're visiting you this morning, Nicole. Okay, Michaela, what we've organised for you from Rian van der Westeisen, um, and that's from van der Westeisen Orthotists in Pretoria, mm -hmm. we're going to be helping you out with an electric wheelchair to help your life a little bit easier, to make it a little bit easier, to make it maybe a little faster. Are you happy about that? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Will it help? Yeah, it will. And then, um, but that's not all. We're also going to, um, we understand that you don't get a lot of pocket money, obviously, because mm. studies are so expensive, yeah. the commune's so expensive. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving you 2,750 mm -hmm. Rand for the commune. And that's for the rest of the year. So that's for the next five months. Cool. Thank you. What will your parents say? I think they'll be quite happy about that. <laughs> are you happy? Yes. <laughs> you are just so chilled, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> so, Michaela, that's uh, over 10,000 Rand uh, courtesy of Van Avestos and Orthotists in Pretoria for the uh, electric wheelchair. So, you'll have motorized transport now to and from class. And then a total of 13,705 Rand uh, for the rest of your um, lodging, your mm. rent, or whatever you call it, at uh, at the commune for the rest of the year. You don't have to worry about paying yeah. that, or your parents don't have to. Because Elsa uh, also said that uh, Michaela sometimes uses the wheelchair to get to hospital and back mm. because uh, she she tries to save on taxi fare. So we don't want you to do that. Yeah. I can't for you to say bye, thank you. I can't go to all that. Er is iemand wat geluister het na my pleidooi en ek het eindelijk oorspronkelijk gedink dat ek en miskien net iemand wees wat vir haar um, kan help miskien om college te ry in die ochend of so aan. Maar die, dit het gebeur, die ultimate ding het gebeur en dit is vir hom net haar, haar leven bykie makkelijker te maak en um, te, te weet daar is iemand in die leven wat raak sien wat, wat sy is en wat sy verstaan en sy het van gesê I just want to be able to look after myself one day en ek dink sy gaan dit bereik. 
uh, as met allemaal zo hulp. Ik denk ons kan nou help. En ons het al gehelp. Dankie jou, Karanda. Well, basically, I would just like to thank them for helping me in making this possible and making life a bit easier. <clears throat> um, yeah, because the last couple of months has been a struggle, so, yeah, it's definitely going to change <laughs> life. For more information, visit fatmyhand.co.za.